Hi there, I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about walk forward testing for algo trading. So let's get started. So talking about walk forward testing, I'm not going to go through all the details on how to do walk forward testing. I have some other videos that will show you this. I just want to give you a couple best practices. Talking about walk forward testing, it's a big part of my trademark strategy factory process. And the reason why is because it produces true out of sample results, especially when you do it correctly. Now, of course, there's ways to mess up walk forward testing and make it in sample and make it kind of useless. But when you follow the correct approach, which is the approach I teach, it becomes true out of sample performance. And it, when you do it correctly, the other thing it does is it maximizes the amount of out of sample data. It's something you don't get with normal optimization. So you have to keep that in mind. It's a great way to get out of sample results. And those are more reflective of real time future trading. It's the best indicator that I've found of future performance. You know, we all know about optimized back tests and how they usually fall apart in real time trading. Well, walk forward testing does not have that same kind of stigma to it. Walk forward testing can be useful in real time. Looking at traders who I work with, I found two big things. One, if you run the walk forward test multiple times, let's say you, you run it and then you look at the results and you say, oh, I'm going to go run it again with different parameters or add a filter or that kind of thing. That's what I call tweaking the strategy. What I've found is if you do that, those strategies tend to do much worse in real time. So that's the first big finding. And a related one is if you change the parameters of the walk forward test itself, where you change the in sample period length and the out of sample period length. And if you look at a whole bunch of those and pick the best one, a lot of people do that. TradeStation actually offers something they call cluster analysis, which basically does that. It picks the, what they say is the best. Well, just realize that they're using all the data to do that, and that's just optimization. That kind of process tends to do much worse in real time. So you want to avoid that. You want to pick an in-sample period and an out-of-sample period before you run the test and just use it. Or you want to have a method where you have a standard process to pick your in and out period links. And if some of this is confusing, you're like, what is in and out period links? There's other videos in my library on YouTube you can watch and learn about walk forward testing. I encourage you to do that. Just go to my channel, search for walk forward and some videos will pop up. Those will help you with some of the basics of it. But if you want to do this correctly, do the walk forward testing correctly, don't run them multiple times and don't cherry pick the best performer. Keep those in mind. You'll do a lot, lot better. So again, walk, run the walk forward test one time and you'll be much better off. So if you want to learn more of my secrets of success, I teach a course, it's called the Strategy Factory Workshop. It's an online workshop with a live section to it. It includes my personal email support. So you ask me questions, I'll be answering you. You can find more details on my website, kgtradingsystems.com. Click on workshop at, at the top. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.